Hey everybody, welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. Uh, today we are going to talk about why you don't need to stick to a diet. I just want to thank everyone for listening to the podcast and sharing it with their family and friends. And for those of you who left reviews, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And I'm getting tons of feedback on the podcast and how everybody is loving it. And I'm so, so thrilled. So thank you so much. Please keep sharing please keep leaving reviews because I love reading them. And when you share and leave reviews, you're helping other women just like you find this podcast. And I obviously want to help as many people as I possibly can. So the more I can spread the word, the more I can help people. So please feel free to share and continue to listen. All right. So today we're going to talk about why you don't need to stick to your diet. If I told you you needed to go on a diet, what is the first thing that pops into your mind? What do I need to sacrifice? What do I need to deprive myself of? This is going to be horrible. I really don't want to do this. These are probably the thoughts that are running in the background that you probably are not aware of. It's kind of like that hum in the background that you just don't quite hear unless you really focus in and listening to it. So I want to stress that you need to ditch the word diet. It drives me nuts when I hear the word diet. So if you look back in the dictionary before the 70s, diet just meant what you eat. It didn't mean that you were on some crazy low calorie diet or you could only eat fat, you could only eat carbs. It just meant whatever you were eating, that's what you ate. Unfortunately, through the past decades, the meaning of diet has really changed. Diet today means restriction, starvation, eating only certain foods or eating at certain times of the day. And there are always some variation of another diet that has already pre-existed. There is a better way. When clients come to me, I help them design a way of eating that fits into their lifestyle, not the other way around. So how many diets have you tried? How many of them have you actually kept up with? Here's the thing, diets do work, but only if you keep doing them. When you find a way of eating that supports your weight loss goals and makes you feel good physically, it is so much easier to lose the weight for good. This is why I do not give specific food plans to my clients. Everyone is so different from what you like to eat to when you like to eat and what emotion you have around food. This is why you need to make sure your mindset is in the right space as well. So this was my problem for years. I would lose weight and gain it back. I always play with the same 10 pounds. And I also think this is why I wasn't able to compete my goal of the fitness contest. Now, if you've been following me, if you're an avid follower, um, you can check it out on YouTube. There are videos of me and my journey into competing for a fitness competition. I have not actually stepped on the stage, but I will one day. <laughs> so it is on the back burner right now because I have some other bigger goals that I want to uh, tackle. But I know that when I decide to do it again, I am going to be going into that um, competitiveness with a whole new level of mindset skills. I didn't have the mindset skills that I have today. And I can tell you that once you have the skills, that I teach my clients, when you have those skill sets down, you will understand not only how to lose the weight, but keep it off. So if in five years from now, the weight kind of quote unquote creeps back in, you're gonna know exactly how to shift and get back to where you wanna be. So I kind of equate my program to like getting a doctorate degree on you and what will work for you. I really can't say enough about the mindset coaching part. Like if you are struggling with feeling like you're doing all the right things, but nothing is working, you need to look into where your mind is. Everything we do comes from a thought we have. And that thought is either getting you closer to your goals or further away from your goals. The last reason you don't need to stick to a diet is dieting comes with a ton of food drama. I can't eat that. I can only have a cheat meal between the hours of five and six on Saturday. I can only eat food imported from a remote island off of Fiji. These are the nonsense. Like if a diet sounds like too extreme, it's usually too extreme. So I want you to ask yourself this one question when you're looking at a diet. Can you do this for the rest of your life? 
If the answer is no, then throw the diet out. So you might be asking, Nicole, then how the heck do I lose weight if I'm not on a diet? There are three components that need to be in place for you to lose weight. Moving your body, fueling your body, and mastering your mind. There are so many complexities with each person, which is why general information may work for one person and not for another. And this is what I absolutely love about coaching my clients, because we get to dive into how I can help them individually as the unique person that they are. Everybody is different. Every, there's so many layers. It's almost like, I don't want to equate people to an onion, but it is like you just peel layers and peel layers and peel layers and until you get down to that core. And everybody's layers are so different. So as women, especially if you grew up in the 70s and 80s, we tend to carry a lot of emotional eating baggage. Eat when you are sad, it'll make you feel better. A boyfriend break up with you? Here's a gallon of ice cream to make you get over him. Are you bored? Let's make cookies, right? Eating is meant for fuel. Any other time that you're eating when you're not hungry, you're trying to solve an emotional problem. So why you don't need to stick to a diet? Number one, diets do work, but not if you can't fit them into your lifestyle. Number two, stop looking for the latest and greatest diet. Get a program designed for you, something that fits into your lifestyle, something you can do for the rest of your life. Number three, if you ditch the food drama, it is so, 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 so much easier to fuel your body rather than eating to suppress an emotion. All right, so if you find yourself staring at the latest diet, flipping through the magazine to find something that you think is going to finally solve all your weight loss problems with one diet, please shut the magazine. <laughs> and you gotta get real, you gotta ditch those diet mentalities. It's not gonna work unless you put it, make it a lifestyle. It's gotta be a lifestyle change. All right, if you wanna dive deeper into this and your weight loss journey, I wanna invite you to book a call with me. It's absolutely free and you can check it out at shapeitupfitness.com. Have a wonderful week and I will talk to you soon.